Now, yeah, that's just the way it is. And I got to ask you about that. Are there any TAs? And I suspect there may be some, if I can be presumptive for a moment, where you think, man, I had to fight that guy all the time. I had to fight those rules all the time. And now I see guys throwing 4,000 yards. I would have liked to have had some of that. Well, I think Terry Bradshaw put it best the other day. He said he made the Pro Bowl and threw for 1,800 yards. I think that says it all. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you can't throw for 3,000 yards or 4,000 yards in a season, if you can't catch 1,000-yard seasons in this, the way the game is played today, people can't hit you over the middle, they can't wear pads, they can't flip you over, they can't uh, necktie you. I mean, you got open ground. It's like going out there, you know, getting to the hole. And that's why I appreciate Heinz Ward so much is because he plays the entire game. Every facet of his game, for as long as he's played, he's maximized that. And the punt returns, kick returns, blocking people, sitting in the hole, catching deep passes, catching short passes, whatever it is, because he understands the game. And I look at a lot of other players that, in this era that don't play like that. Mm -hmm. they're, they're not even close, and they don't, have the, they don't have the same type of responsibilities when they run out on the field. I mean, it's more three receiver sets, four receiver sets, so all you have to do is sit in the hole and catch the ball. All right, I'm going to let you go because you've been very gracious, but on the other hand, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about Tom Landry. California Quake had a lot of attention. Your great ball skills, your great production as a player and skills. But here we are, all these years later, you're representing Farmers Branch, Texas, and, and obviously a lot of good things personally as you sit here. That journey's quite a trip, and uh, I, I've always looked at Tom Landry, I as a, came up as a Steeler fan obviously, looked at him as somebody that was aloof or cold or whatever, but I hear other people who really knew him, and they have a different picture altogether. Talk a little bit about Coach Landry. No, he was a, he was a very warm man to me. I mean, um, it would seem like as the press in that time had us going back and forth, but that never occurred. I would have more meetings probably with, with him than any other player uh, just because I had, you know, my strong beliefs in the way I wanted to do things um, more so than anything else. And it wasn't about offending him. It was about, in my case, I was trying to bring the entertainment business into football, sure. which it now is. Right. I mean, that's You're ahead what of I. Time. Yes, exactly. Right. And that's all I was doing. I was trying to take our face, my face, outside the face mask. Now, it's not the same pretty face it was, but at that time period, it helped to elevate guys to another level so that they became entertainers and the money came into the game. Right. As long as our faces were behind a face mask, then we could never make money. That's incredible. Well, that, so that's someone, right. had to, someone had to step in and do that in a conservative atmosphere, in a conservative place. And I felt that you know the timing was right and what was going on was right, but Coach Landry was always cordial to me was always I was always respectful to him and he was always respectful for me and there was I thought of him as as a surrogate father more so than anything else mm -hmm. and I probably was the bad child in the family but that didn't make a difference because I played on the field so when I got on the field if you grade out 98 percent all the time if you're making the plays you need to make he respected you for that but he also respected every man for himself and if you believed in what you believed in, you showed him the respect of what he wanted in his ball club, then everything else you know, went by the wayside. You know, I Warm actually, guy. I, I have to bring that up. We've talked to our students about this, and of course we're talking about taking, as you put it, the face behind the face mask and all of that sort of thing. We've talked to a lot of the kids about how that has changed now to the point, particularly with the new mediums and so right. forth available, right. that whereas the traditional sports media people was would be the conduit now you're getting more interaction directly from the player to the fan base and it's created a lot of leveraging a lot of opportunities to in fact make the money you're talking about right. um, your thoughts on whether that's appropriate at this point or has it gone too far I, I mean it depends on how you look at the game itself I mean do you really still enjoy the game or is the game really become totally Entertainment. Right. Uh, it depends on how you see the game. Right. I mean, it is entertaining. Uh, right now, I think the defenses have no chance. I mean, they're going to be they're going to be scored on, and that's purposely. I mean, for people to come sure. out, watch it, and that's all good. Uh, I think right now that the money in the game tends to change the game. So if you look at Coach Belichick, and I'm going to go back to him because I've watched what he's done with players. And when a guy doesn't want to, he wants to make more money, he wants to go somewhere else, he's like, see ya, I got somebody else to replace you. Randy Moss? And, yeah, it could be a Randy Moss, he could be whoever. If you look at over the last seven years, he has changed that ball club entirely. He brought a kid in from the Jets who had gotten cut this year and made him a star.
Mm-hmm. So my point is, he coaches like Tom Landry. Is that you are a part of the organization. You are a role on the organization. And if you think you are more than that, that is not true. Right. So he's an old school coach. So what has happened to a lot of guys is you make that big money, you don't want to get hurt. Mm-hmm. So you don't take the chances you normally would have taken. And I don't say guys do that intentionally. That's not what I'm saying. But it's natural for you to want to protect your career over a lifetime. So you're not going to take the risks on that field that you normally would have taken as you were hungry coming out of the door. Sure. You're just not going to take it. And if you're making a lot of money, then you feel, well, why should I learn? Because I've watched guys over the years not improve. You know, they don't study their craft. I think one of the, the finest receivers in the league is Steve Smith other than Heinz Ward. I mean, he protects and he works at his craft every single day. And you can see the difference in him because he works at his craft versus guys who have a lot of speed, just run around. I can catch the ball. I got to, I'm making a lot of money. Well, I'm not faulting anybody that's making money. I'm glad that they are. Mm-hmm. I am so happy that they are. But for respect for the game, play the game. Yeah. You know, right. do your craft. Right. And how can you tell a young person to do that if you're not going to, willing to do it? Right, good point. Yeah. I enjoyed our conversation so much. I really no did. I learned a lot. And, I, and if you don't mind, I'm going to ask you to do something that may be considered by some fans sacrilege. Man, you got to sign a copy of our newspaper, first of all, Pittsburgh Sports Report. We publish it monthly. We have for many, many years. Yeah, if you want to put that even clear, right over top of the Rooney's, Get in the AFC, that's fine by me. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know, that. You know, hey, man, that, look. That, I got to do something. Yeah, the loss uh, against them so much. Yeah, man. yeah, you okay. got to give back. And, and if you wouldn't mind separately doing that, Butch, we would appreciate it. But thank you for sure. signing it. And there you have it, the uh, Butch Johnson uh, autograph, Pittsburgh Sports Report. And, uh, boy, what a, what a pleasure to be with him as he uh, supports and otherwise uh, uh, serves as the ambassador for Farmers Branch, Texas. Thank you so much, Butch. You, All right. Okay, look forward to it.